Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Have uh, you managed to meet uh, Mr. Chirika Tayari and uh, uh, how is his condition? I met him. He was badly beaten. His face is swollen. Uh, the story is sad. There was no reason for that brutality. It's clear why they wanted to pick him at night and not allow him to report himself at the police the following morning. The intention was to brutalize him, to beat him up. That's barbarism. This is not the way to police. The same people who are mistreating Tayari today were complaining about these things when they were in opposition. They wanted to be treated differently. They wanted to report themselves to the police instead of being picked at night, instead of their homes being broken into. What was bad for them is also bad for anyone else. If Mr. Tayari has committed an offense, arrest him properly. The offense for which he's being detained the whole night, the whole day here today is bearable. They have not formally charged. Is not granted the police bond. He has not been taken to the hospital. He needs to see a doctor. Definitely. I think we can both, we can be more humane with each other. Law enforcement was made for human beings. It was not meant for dogs, for for animals. These police stations, police cells were meant for human beings. No matter what offense a human being has committed, he's still a human being and he deserves to be treated as a human being. That's the purpose of human rights. So it's very, very unfortunate the way we are going. Democracy is a noise. Mr. Triari can be a little prickle, but he has got the right to be a little prickle. If he crosses the line, there are laws for this country. There are laws of defamation and other laws. They can, those who are offended can seek redress, but not to beat somebody, not to arrest him the way he was arrested last night. All of us watching. On top of that, they have arrested even and detained innocent journalists who went to cover the event. The arrest of a prominent person like Mr. Tayari cannot be a private matter. Journalists have the right to cover it. And you can't charge a journalist who was simply standing at a distance for obstruction of justice. What obstruction of justice? It's sad that we have to go this path. We had high expectations and probably just viable so because we were promised that. And the people who are doing this are people who suffered also. Is this revenge? But even if it's revenge, was this part of uh, Mr. Tayari's uh, politics on them? Was Mr. Tayari part of the previous government that mistreated them? Even those who mistreated them, there's no need for revenge. Thank you. 